Okay, what is going on guys? Thanks for joining us today for another fantastic video from Bikes and Bits. So I want to give you guys a bit of an update about what, what's been going on on the channel. Um, so we have actually acquired a new motorcycle uh, just before the end of the year, the 31st of December, New Year's Eve. This particular motorcycle was dropped off at my house. So those of you that have watched the channel before will know that I was riding a Ninja 650, so a parallel twin, a bit of a beginner's bike, about 71 bhp, um, but a lot of torque throughout the rev range, so you could make overtakes without needing to drop down through the gears, um, and it was a very forgiving motorcycle for the, for the new rider. Oh, look at this. Um, but after about two years of riding, I wanted a little bit more power, and I really, really love the super sport, the, the, the riding position, the look, the uh, muscular uh, design, uh, the, 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 just the, the power, uh, the aggression of, of the class. I didn't really want uh, a retro, even though they're quite popular at the moment, um, or, or naked. I wanted the look of, of a super sport, you know, I dreamed about these bikes growing up as a kid. Uh, the guy who lived opposite me had a, uh, a, a fire blade, um, I think it was 900RR. I mean, to look at this thing and just dream about having one of these bikes. Um, so that was the late 90s and um, I got my license probably a couple of years ago and I said rode the 650 and, and wanted a bit of an upgrade. So. I looked at litre bikes, um, more dreamed about litre bikes, didn't really do a quick overtake here. Oh no, there's a car coming. Drop down, yeah. Get past. Right around we go. Open up. Uh, dreamed about litre bikes, look at a fire blade. Um, still really want the sort of 0009 blade. Um, but that'll be another, for another video, might be another bike. Oh, overcooked it a little bit there, there's wet conditions. Look at the ZX-10, uh, even test road the ZX-10. Um, and that thing is just pure, unadulterated power. Um, and also the riding position is quite uncomfortable. Um, and it's a bit, litre bikes are a bit too much, I think. Uh, I love the fact on the Ninja 650 you could really yank the throttle over and have fun with the thing. Um, and, it, and it didn't, you know, catapult you into hyperspace. Uh, you, you felt good acceleration, you felt good buzz from riding it. Um, but it was still something you could, you could really operate at full throttle. So I didn't really want to go for, for a release of bike. And that drew me naturally to a sort of intermediate step, maybe uh, a 750. Um, or indeed the 600. I was reading a magazine article from Practical Sports Bike here in the UK. Great magazine actually. And I saw they had a 600 shootout. Uh, so I decided to uh, look at the bikes in question. I think one was a Yam, one was a six, uh, uh, CBR 600. And the other was, believe it or not, a Triumph Daytona. So being uh, from the UK, Obviously, the Triumph naturally pitched my interest. And um, I love the look of the bike. Uh, being in this bike here is a, a, a Triumph uh, 04 on an 04 plates, so 2004. Being on an 04, um, 2002 is when they actually released this model. It looks very much like a, a modern sports bike, a super sport. Um, it's got the a few giveaways, obviously it's got the analog clocks, uh, a large end cam, um, and uh, it's got large indicators, uh, not those integrated into the, the rear light as the modern bikes do. But um, other than that, this thing looked almost like a new, that, looked almost like a new bike. Um, being the colours as well, I really liked, obviously they have the, the, the red, um, yellow and, and the less uh, optional silver. Uh, most of these are red or yellow. I love the yellow actually, um, but I ended up getting a red one. And um, I got the one with the the 
uh, Union Jack, the Union flag, as it's correctly called, on the nose cone. Um, so this thing is sort of loud and brash and ostentatious, and it makes a hell of a good noise. We've got a uh, carbon fiber oval end cap, which uh, really adds to the sound. Other things on this bike, which I like, uh, you've got the heated grips. Today is particularly a chilly day. Um, you've got a Triumph uh, optional extra gel seat. Woof, listen to that. Um, and I've got this handy little device down here, which uh, is flushing green at the moment. And that is a speed camera detector. So when you go past the camera, for safety reasons, of course, it will flash red. Um, or it'll go solid red, actually. And if you're going past the camera in excess of the speed limit, it will then flash red to alert you. Okay guys, well, I'll come back with another video about the differences between the two bikes, you know, the 600 class Supersport and the 650, uh, the more of a parallel twin type of riding experience. But until then, I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>